In this video, we're going to build our first timeline. So before I get going with the code, um, I'm a little bit squeezed for space down here. So what I'm going to do is use a gsap.set. All right, now set is a method that creates a tween basically with no duration. So I'm just going to say that the uh, demo thing is going to have a scale of 0 0.7. And I'm just doing this for the purpose of recording here so we have a little bit more screen real estate to work with. And so now when this demo loads up, you're gonna see that it's scrunched down a little bit, okay? Perfect. So now it's time to create our first timeline. I'm gonna do that targeting the GSAP object and calling its timeline method. All right, so that's going to internally create a new timeline that we can now tack on different animations. And the first thing we're gonna do is a from animation and the target is going to be the demo object, which is that div that includes everything. And what we're going to do is fade it up. So I'm going to say, let's animate from in opacity of zero. Let's just run and see if this works and check it out. All right, so we saw a very slight fade when this thing ran, okay. All right, everything fades in together because everything is inside that demo. All right, now I could start chaining on a whole mess of animations here, but I wanna keep my code a little bit neat. So every new animation I'm gonna put on a new line. And after that background fades in, then I wanna animate the title which is meet the Freds, okay? So I'm just gonna do another from tween. The target is going to be the title. And for the properties here, I'm also gonna do an opacity of zero. And we'll do a scale of zero. And I'm going to use an ease of back. Remember, told you, my favorite ease. So let's run this and you're gonna notice that once every the background fades in, then that animation happens, okay? I'm just gonna make this uh, duration on the first tween, I'm gonna make it about one second long so that you have a little bit of time to see it happening. Fade in, and then meet the frets. So what I wanna point out here is that both these tweens happen in direct succession. And to make this even more readable, let's put this from on the next line. We'll tab it in a little bit, and to preserve space, we'll do that. All right, so now I have two animations running in sequence. Now I wanna target all of these freds, all right? And actually they're images inside of a div with an ID of fred, so we went over that before. To animate that, it's gonna look like this. We're gonna do dot from, we're gonna target the freds div that has that ID, and every image inside of it, okay? And we want these to come up from the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is animate them from a Y of 160. I'm gonna stagger them in with a stagger value of 0 0.1, which is gonna be fairly quick. Uh, the duration, I'm gonna say just a little bit shy of a second at 0 0.8, and you guessed it, my ease is going to be back. Let's do a run. Oops, looks like I forgot my colon here. And let's do a run, and now it should work. Hey, not so bad. All right, and lastly, what I wanna do is take this little thing here with the ID of time and have it slide in from off stage, so it's gonna be sitting out over here. Now I'm gonna show you a cool little trick here. Um, I'm gonna do just another from tween. So I'm gonna do dot from, the ID is time. And the properties we're gonna use, well, we're gonna have to figure those out. Um, we wanna move it along the X axis. So if I say X, and I'm just gonna guess 100 pixels. All right, that's all I'm gonna do. Let me run and let's see what happens. You're gonna see, oh, I didn't push it off far enough, okay? And then it comes in. So moving it 100 pixels wasn't really enough. What I wanna do really quick is take this demo thing and we're gonna set its overflow not to hidden. So in CodePen, I can just do a comment like that. And when I turn that off, watch what happens. You're gonna see that um, it sticks off stage a little bit right there and that's where it comes in from. Well, what I wanna do is, I don't really know how wide this thing is. Well, yeah, I could measure it and figure it out. 
but instead of moving it 100 pixels, if I say, instead of using X, I'm gonna use X percent, that's a special property that GSAP recognizes, and this is gonna say, move yourself from 100% of your width, okay? So now when I run, you're going to see that the left edge is perfectly off stage, and then it comes in and moves its full width, okay? So this is very flexible because I could change the width of this image at any time, and I don't have to change this code around. Let me just go back into my CSS. I'm gonna take my demo, and we're going to bring the overflow back on. Let's just move this over here. And one more time, you're gonna see that everything runs in perfect succession. The fade in, the title, the stagger, and then this guy comes in. This last tween here is a little bit long for my liking, so I'm just gonna do a duration of 0.2. So that's just gonna make it much quicker. We'll watch it one more time, and then I'm gonna tweak some stuff just a little bit. Ah, all right, nice and zippy, I love that. Now, as you can see, everything is playing in direct succession. I never set a delay on any of these animations. So now, if I take the duration of the fade in and I set it to be five seconds long, which is really kind of gross, um, I just wanna show you that I don't have to change the uh, delay on anything that follows. They all just naturally happen in order, okay? If I take the uh, title tween and I say that its duration is gonna be longer, I don't have to offset where the Fred starts staggering in, okay? It's totally flexible and totally awesome in that everything just plays naturally one after the other. In the next video, I'll show you how we can alter that one after the other behavior by using the position parameter. It's gonna allow us to have tweens overlap or put a little bit of delay in between them. And to show you how it works, in the next video, I'm gonna step away from this project and show you my position parameter visualizer so the concept really sinks in. Trust me, you're gonna love it.